Hello everyone! Today we have three videos about washing your clothes, but not in the washing machine. I mean, not at your home, but in the laundromat. It's a special place, a special public place, where you can take your clothes and wash it there for some amount of money. So, when do you need this? You need this if you don't have a washing machine at your home, or when they are not so powerful, so you can wash a lot of clothes at the same time. I'm probably the first. I'm surprised that someone still uses this thing. But in America I think it's it's quite common. Because otherwise they wouldn't have these conversations. Let's go. Three parts. One, two, three. Let's go. We're going to learn some phrases relating to washing machines and washing your clothes. Now maybe you don't need the laundromat, you, you don't go there, but you'll still need some vocabulary in order to explain your laundry. Let's go. Laundry means when you wash your clothes. It's called laundry. Clothes and line, lines uh, that need to be washed or that have been newly washed. So do the laundry means wash your clothes. Do the laundry. Let's go. I don't have any clean laundry for tomorrow. Well, you should do your laundry then. Oh guys, I just thought of another reason why it can be useful. For students, for example, if they live in, in, dorm, in the dormitory, um, there is probably a laundromat now in the premises where they can wash their clothes. There are lots of rooms in the dormitory, in the, in the place, in the building where students live. So obviously not every one of them has its own washing machine. Maybe nobody has. So they have one washing machine, one a couple of couple of washing machines you know, in one store. In one store. And all the students can use it. Again, one of the reasons. Right. I don't have any clean laundry for tomorrow. Well, you should do your laundry then. Let me think. I don't have any clean laundry for tomorrow. Well, you should do your laundry then. Laundry is such a hassle. Look, I don't understand what, what, what the point they're making. Uh, I don't have any clean laundry for tomorrow. Well, you should do your laundry then. Hmm. I guess he means that he doesn't doesn't have any clean clothes for tomorrow. Oh well, you should do your laundry then. Right? Laundry is such a hassle. Uh, I don't like hassle. I don't like laundry. It's such a hassle. Something, you know, unpleasant. Something that causes troubles and. And troubles and problems. Something very something difficult. Laundry is such a hassle. Pack the laundry bags and let's go to the laundromat. Oh, alright. I don't have much though. Do you have any quarters? Yes, I have enough for the washer and dryer. Alright then, let's get going. This is going to take forever. The longer I keep complaining, the longer I'll feel. The longer it, it the longer it'll feel. I'd rather be playing video games. I'd rather you wore a clean shirt to school tomorrow. So again, I think this is a mother and a son, or maybe a, a, a older sister and son. So laundry is such a hassle, such a bad and unpleasant thing. It takes lots of your time. I don't like us. I don't like any chores. Whew, I'd rather have a person who would clean myself, clean up my room, uh, who would do my laundry, who would do the dishes, and everything. And nowadays it's not very expensive, at least in Russia, you can find someone to do the housework job, to do the housework. I think it's possible, it's not that expensive, of course, if you have money. Uh, pack the laundry bags and let's go to the laundromat. 
laundromat again this is a public place and there is no people there is no people you have lots of washing machines and dryers so this is a two-step process first you wash your clothes and then you dry it so it can be dry and ready to wear and they are coin operated coin operated which means that you have to have coins this metal pieces of money the metal discs no little discs that we use as money so you have a quarter quarter means 25 cents you have a quarter in this case for example or you need 50 cents and you put two coins into the special hole and then you click the button and then this machine starts working that's how you how you wash your clothes look it's quite modern looks nice i think it's a 3d model it looks awesome let's continue all right do you have any quarters quarters 25 cents remember yes i have enough for the washer and dryer all right then let's get going i think at this moment they are already in the laundromat and they put their clothes in the washing machines and now they're waiting they're waiting for the machines to finish the job oh uh, this is going to take forever i wonder if you can leave your clothes in the washing machines and go away probably it's not possible you have to stay there but you could keep a book or you could have an ebook in your smartphone so i don't understand why people you know what i understand people complaining about wasting their time like anywhere in the world be it in the bus stop or in the metro or in the laundromat like this or in a line waiting for your for your turn to buy something to buy you know sandwiches or burgers so why complain have your phone with you no have a book no, put on your headphones and listen to the podcast. Learn languages. I mean, it's it's cool for me because I learn languages. And I learn English. And I can use you know, every single minute for myself. So it's not a problem. And I like it. So don't complain. Don't complain. Use your time. Use your downtime properly. This is going to take forever. The longer you keep complaining, the longer it'll feel. <clears throat> That's a wise advice. That's wise advice. I'd rather be playing video games. I'd rather you wore a clean shirt to school tomorrow. I'd rather be playing. I'd rather you... Why wore, I wonder? I'd rather you wear. I'd rather you wore. Hmm. Rather you wore a clean shirt for school tomorrow. Rather you wore a clean shirt at school tomorrow. Okay, the first dialogue is done. The second. Put your wet clothes into the dryer, please. How long should I put them on for? Put them on low heat for 30 minutes. Why low heat? If the air is too hot, the clothes will shrink. I need to wash another load of laundry. If they're colored, wash them in cold water. Does warm water make them fade? Yes. Put the detergent here and don't use bleach. Oh, that's where to put detergent. Don't forget to add fabric softener after the first rinse. Okay, I won't. Thanks. Okay, the first step is done. They wash their clothes. Now you want to dry. Want, want to dry it. Well, you might ask, why just take your wet clothes home you know, and dry it there? But, as you know, wet clothes uh, are, is very, very heavy. Wet clothes are many heavy, may, are very heavy. So, you know, the, the weight can increase as much as you know, three times, I think. So, for example, your dry clothes can weigh one kilogram. And the, the same clothes, but wet, can weigh up to four, maybe even four, 
or 5 kilograms. So it's super heavy. And unless you're in, in the car, it might be very difficult to deliver it home. Put your wet clothes into the dryer, please. And you know, some people simply don't have enough space at home to hang it on the stream or to hang it on the street. And obviously, it takes some time. So if you need it soon, if you need it immediately, then you want to use the dryer. How long should I put them on for? Mm, put them on low heat for 30 minutes. So like a stove, the dryer supposedly has some modes. It has a low, low heat mode and you know, maybe immediate heat mode and high heat mode. Uh, why low heat? He asks. <clears throat> why don't use you know, high heat and get things done faster? But there is a problem. If the air is too hot, the clothes will shrink. Will shrink. It means it decrease it decreases in size. In size. So if you put your shirt being like this, after the hot air, it can shrink. It's gonna be like this. It becomes smaller. So shrink. You know your your skin can shrink too sometimes when you're old. Uh, I need to wash another load of laundry. So we have loads. We have loads. Loads, it's a one, like one try, one attempt. For example, you have uh, 20 kilos of clothes, and obviously you can't put it in the washing machine in one, in one set. You have, you have 10 loads or 5 loads. So you divide all your clothes into five even groups. And then you take each group and wash it. Then you take another group of clothes and wash it. And you take another set of clothes and wash it. So these individual sets, these individual attempts called loads. Loads. And it depends on how much, uh, how much space in the washing machine. So if it's five kilo then your load your one load is five kilograms I need to wash another load of laundry if they're colored wash them in cold water in cold water if they're colored and as you know you should separate clothes uh, according to the characteristics of the clothes so it's a good idea to wash your white clothes separately your black clothes separately colored clothes separately and some clothes you don't wash in the washing machine at all. It's very delicate. Wash them in cold water. Does warm water make them fade? So if the if the things are colored, means if they are like red, blue, green, etc., then wash them in cold water. Why? Does warm water make them fade? Yes. Fade means the color becomes less brighter. So the clothes lose its color. If it was super bright and red, now it becomes, you know, very, like almost, almost white. It loses its color. It's called fade. Fade. Yes, put the detergent here. Detergent, this is a powder that you use for washing your clothes. Powder. A water-soluble cleansing agent which combines with impurities and dirt to make them more soluble and drift and differs from soap in not forming a scum with the salts in hard water. Wow. Forget about it. Put the detergent here and don't use bleach. Bleach is kind of a whitener. Yeah, like whitener. It makes things white. So we want to use bleach for white clothes and detergent for detergent for colored clothes. Uh, no, detergent for everything. You just don't use bleach with the colored clothes. Only with white clothes. Oh, that's where to put the detergent. Mm, you know, there is a special box you can draw and put there. There are actually three sections. In one section you put the powder. the second section you put the the powder, I mean the detergent, in the second one the bleach, and the third one maybe the softener, fabric softener. 
Now that's where the wood detergent. Don't forget to add fabric softener after the first rinse. Wow, man, there is a whole science here. Whew, have to have to wash your clothes. That's why I don't like, you know, some house housework chores because even though it seems easy, you may think, okay, everyone does that. There is nothing there. Like it's easy. I can do it. But it's not. It's not easy. There are some tricks and hacks and problems. And sometimes you can spoil, you can damage your clothes. Like forever. And the same about the same goes about doing ironing, like the ironing. Same by doing the laundry. The same about cooking. Uh, the same about cleaning and vacuum cleaning. <laughs> I'm not sure about vacuum cleaning, but if you vacuum clean your computer, again, you may damage your computer permanently. So, the, everywhere, there is something to learn everywhere. And I'm thinking that I need to learn how to do it first. I need some explanations. I need somebody explain somebody to explain everything to me so all the tricks <laughs> maybe even i would like to take some courses on how to wash your clothes on how to iron things super difficult i hate ironing because again it's either not working or you know you're burning your clothes especially now shirts white shirts you can leave a spot uh, don't forget to add fabric softener after the first rinse. So after the first rinse, you see. Why? I don't know. Okay, I won't. Thanks. So probably he's teasing her. Don't forget to add. Okay, I won't. Ah, right. No, no, no. He's not teasing her. He said, I won't, meaning I won't forget. I thought he said, I won't add it. I won't. Don't forget. Okay, I won't forget. Fabric softener, wow. This is the thing that keeps your clothes soft. Well, that's kind of self-explanatory. Fabric softener, right? Keeps it soft and does not allow your clothes to, to, to become tough. Let's go. Uh, conversation number three. Excuse me. Can I borrow your fabric softener? Of course, take as much as you need. Thank you, you're very kind. It's no problem at all. I, I, I love the subtle smell of this brand. Me too. It's not overpowering, it's not overpowering or strong. I think maybe I'll buy it for myself too. What I like about it is that it's hypoallergenic. No kidding. That's really something. It's perfect for washing delicate clothing. Well, thank you for introducing me to this brand. Anytime, no problem. Anytime, no problem. Alright, so they don't have their fabric softener. So after all, you have to bring everything with yourself. So it's not there. Or maybe it's not there, but you have to pay for it. I mean in the laundromat. So, it makes sense if you have all you need for the laundry in the laundromat, like detergent, what was there? The detergent, fabric softener, and bleacher. I think they do have everything you need, but it costs some extra money. And if you want to save your money, what can you do? Of course, you can ask someone else if they have it, so that you can borrow it. Wow. That's a good way to save you money and also make some new friends. Of course, take as much as you need. Thank you, you're very kind. It's no problem at all. I love the subtle smell of this brand. Subtle means very light. Very, very slight. Like a little bit. The subtle smell of this brand. Me too, it's not overpowering or strong. I think maybe... I think maybe I'll buy it for myself, too. She won't. Uh, 
What I like about it is that it's hypoallergenic. Hypoallergenic means unlikely, it's highly unlikely to cause an allergic reaction. You know, some people have allergic reactions to other substances like flowers or dust. So they start coughing and sneezing and you know, their noses start running. And maybe their skin turn, turns red, so they have all sorts of problems. Their immune system starts reacting, like it thinks that, oh, there are enemies out there, we should start our defensive measure, to take our defensive measures. So their immune system, system is kind of messed up uh, a little bit. And this one is not going to cause you any allergic reaction. Unlikely to cause, of course it can cause too, but it's highly unlikely. What I like about it is that it's hypoallergenic. No kidding, no kidding means are you serious? It's a way of reacting to jokes and some interesting things. No kidding, like you were surprised. That's really something. That's really something. How was that movie you watched yesterday? Wow, that was really something something so how do you like this book you're reading you know that's something <laughs> that's something so you don't have words to explain no there is another expression I don't have enough words to explain so no words can explain or no words can explain how I like this book and <laughs> that's the way of, of expressing your your excitement about something by saying that's really something cool. I say poetry here. Uh, it's a perfect for washing delicate clothing. Clothes and clothing, what's the difference? Well, there's no difference. It's the same. Clothing and clothes. Clothes collectively. All right. Well, thank you for introducing me to this brand. Introducing means I didn't know about this brand, but you told me about this brand and now I know what this brand is all about. So you introduced me to this brand. You made me familiar with this brand. You taught me. You taught me how to use this brand. So thank you for introducing me to this brand. Anytime, no problem. All right, that's it. Uh, not super interesting and I Honestly, I don't have lots of things to discuss here. Maybe it's for the better because it's already 22 minutes, 23. So guys, stay tuned. See you in the next video. Bye.